Hi, I'm Danny Gregory, and I like to think of myself as a creative person. I like to think that you're a creative person too. But no matter how accomplished and talented and lucky you are as a creative person, you're going to go on ups and downs. Your creativity is going to come and go. And there are times where you just need to get back in shape. You just need to try some new things. You need to have a creative kickstart. And uh, I've been feeling that way. I've been feeling like, well, I've been doing things the same way for a while. And, you know, I'm pretty comfortable with it. And I want to be less comfortable. I want to push myself in new directions. And so I was talking to my friend Nikki Trakos, who is a uh, an artist. And she's also an author and a teacher. And she has a fantastic channel here on YouTube that I highly recommend that you check out. And uh, we were just discussing this, how we both felt like, uh, I want to try some new stuff and she had ideas and she has she does things that i don't do and i do things that she doesn't do but there's a lot of overlap too she's a great watercolorist she's an incredible calligrapher she works with colored pencils we both work with watercolor and gouache and ink and we're going to just try out some new things together and try and push each other in new directions so what we decided to do was that starting next week on Monday, we're going to have a daily get-together here on YouTube. We're going to stream to this channel here at Sketchbook School, and we're going to stream to her channel as well. And the two channels will have their own communities, so we'll all be working together live at 9 o'clock in the morning on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, and on Friday. So instead of Draw With Me on Thursday, we're going to be participating in this really cool creative kickstart. And each day what we're going to do is we're going to pick a subject. It could be drawing botanical stuff. It could be drawing animals. It could be doing lettering. It could be doing portraits. It could be doing objects. But we're also going to try and work with lots of different materials and work in new and different ways. So when our friends over at Windsor Newton heard about this plan that we had to do this creative kickstart, they said, let us send you a, a goodie box full of cool things to play with and to try out and see how that drives you in new directions. <gasps> Here's this giant box from Windsor & Newton. Let's check it out. All right, here's the first thing, and it is a delight. These are Windsor & Newton drawing inks, and uh, they're beautiful. Canary yellow, scarlet, vermilion, violet, blue, um, orange, emerald, and black India ink. So yes, so these are these are going to be very nice to use. So these are drawing inks, very specifically drawing inks from Windsor Newton. That'll be fun to play with. What's here? Aha! These are calligraphy inks. So these are different, and we're going to play with them and find out what's different about them. And again, we have six different colors here. We've got gold, mm -hmm. and we've got some uh, some red here, carmine red, blue, black, uh, brown, and green. So we're going to be doing some lettering. I'm really looking forward to seeing, getting a lettering lesson from Nikki. She's great at it, and I'll show her what I laughingly call calligraphy. What else? Great. This is useful. This is a field set of uh, Cotman watercolors. Very handy. And, uh, you know, it's got all the basic colors, 14 different colors. Comes in a neat little set that is very handy. And uh, let's see if I can get this open. Delicious. So beautiful um, colors, warm and cool. That will be great. And look at this cute little tiny paintbrush in there. And of course it has a, this is like a little mixing thing. You can put water in here and have it sit outside. You can use this as a palette. I imagine you can fit your finger through it somehow and uh, look very professional. So that's exciting. Great. Set of watercolors. What else? More watercolors. But these are special because these are metallics. So that's a set of metallic watercolors. And you can see blue, gold, different shades of uh, yellow, gold, bronze, red, copper, iridescent blue, silver, pewter, iridescent black, and iridescent white. So we're going to get a chance to see how those compare and how they mix if we decide to mix them and play with those. 
They're a pretty new product, so there's a, there's a lot of things to be learned about how to use these. Um, but they come in a cute little set with a sticker and another very cute little uh, metal this time watercolor brush. All right, metallics. Put those guys over here. What else have we got? Designer gouache. I mean, this is the best gouache. I've, I use lots of different kinds of gouache, but this is the Rolls Royce, the Windsor Newton of designer gouache. And it is six tubes. And gouache is, is so so dense that this these tubes will last me a good long time. Here we have them. Black, green, primary blue, primary red, primary yellow, and zinc white. So that'll be fun to play with as well. Learn some new techniques about gouache. What do we have here? Watercolor pencils. Mm, show them to you. Watercolor pencils, a beautiful set of 24. Love these. And so these are pencils, but they're watercolor pencils. So you can, you can use them as a regular pencil, and then you can brush over them. So what's going to be fun that we're going to be doing is we're going to be combining. So we might combine pencils with watercolor or pencils with gouache. And we're going to just mix different things together and see how they all work, how they combine. What do we have here? We have, ooh, Pro Marker Tattoo Tones. Ooh, that's pretty exciting. So tattoo markers. Well, they're tattoo tones. I'm not going to be adding any ink to my body because I'll probably get in trouble if I do. But um, here we have lipstick red, pumpkin, sunflower, china blue, indigo blue, plum, forest green, green, spice, burgundy, warm gray, and ice gray. And uh, these pro markers, they have, they're, they're nice because they have a, a dual tip. So you can see if I can pop this open. You can, they have a fine end that you can draw fine lines with, and they have a broad end that you can draw broad lines with. So, but there's also, I think in here, a blender. Yes, there is a blender. So a blender allows you to combine. It's a, it's a marker that has no color, but you can use it to combine two different colors or to just basically make marker ink into a form of liquid. Very helpful. Here we have some graphite pencils, a bunch of different ones, 2, 2H, HB, 2B, 4B, 6B, 8B, 2B, or not 2B. We will decide once we get cracking with these. Is that it? Oh, wait, I see some little things down here. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, beautiful. That's a beautiful. So these, this is a Winsor Newton synthetic sable watercolor brush. The one stroke. Mm, I like that. The one stroke. Does that mean you can do like an entire painting with a single stroke? That's quite a promise. What else do we have in here? We have ah, another watercolor. This is a, a, a zero round which is very helpful. And here's another one hiding in the corner, a number one round. So that's nice. And that's it. That's the box. So pencils, markers, colored pencils, wash, and uh, what else? Metallics, calligraphy ink, drawing ink, and watercolors. So lots of goodies. Lots of fun stuff to play with. Let's see what we do with it. Thanks very much to all of our friends at Windsor Newton for all this loot. It was very generous of you, and uh, I can't wait to jump in. And to see how Nikki does, uses the same materials in a completely different way than I do. You know, most of the things that I do are kind of trial and error. I've kind of figured it out. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing. And, you know, she is very accomplished as a calligrapher and as a, as a watercolorist. And she draws beautiful botanicals and birds and all kinds of stuff. So it'll be cool to learn from her. And I'm hoping that I can t throw her a few curveballs too so that that will break up any creative log jams she has. So join us. We're going to start Monday morning. And, uh, of course, if you can't come to it live, no problem. Of course, all the recordings will be here on YouTube. But if you can come live, you can join the community. You can chat. You can, I don't know, make comments, maybe throw some questions in. And uh, 
will all work together. So bring whatever tools you have. Bring tools you haven't used in a while, or maybe you bought them and they're sitting in the, in the closet in the same bag that you brought home from the art supply store and you've never tried them out. We're going to be working with all these things that you just saw, colored pencils, inks, watercolors, markers, gouache, metallics, all different kinds of things, and we're going to be combining them in new and different ways. So let's see what happens. I think it's going to be really fun. I'll see you on Monday, bright and early, 9 a.m. Pacific, and uh, bring a lot of paper and uh, a big cup of coffee, and let's get to it.